percent less sudden cardiac death. That was the one I was looking for. The sudden cardiac death, which w is the leading cause of death, actually. Mm -hmm. Leading mm -hmm. cause of death. And it's right up there with cancer, et cetera. Okay? My, back to the doctor. As well as a 54% reduction in dangerous heart rhythms. He gives the uh, background of that clinical trial. And even those who had painful defibrillator fibrings. I remember my, my brother got that. He sure well, did. Well, he didn't listen to me, and, and, and I love him. You know, I love his memory. Rest his soul. But he, he got that uh, pacemaker, you know, that they got pressured by the doctors, and you're frantic, and you're scared. 2005 Harvard study. 402 survivors of heart attacks with implanted defibrillators, like my brother Larry. They were given a low dose of fish oil or placebo. This is even low dose. Fish oil supplementation produced a 38% reduction in painful defibrillator firings, okay? Now, that's, they, they don't even routinely give this to people on this. They're giving them that horrible blood thinners with all the terrible uh -huh. side effects. Come I just, right. Coumadin and, 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 uh, and the pacemaker, that's, 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 that's the cure-all. But it doesn't, unfortunately. No. And he, he goes on in, in all, he doing huge summations, I'm just going to say. All right. 17 Sum years of observation, there was a 52% reduction in the risk of sudden cardiac death in thousands of people. And he says, stay, and he was against the antiarrhythmia medications in this article because he says uh, uh, several large clinical trials reported that while heart arrhythmia, antiarrhythmia medications reduced the quantity of abnormal heartbeats, they were associated with an increase in death or mortality rates. Isn't that a common side effect of drugs? Isn't anyway, that a common death. side effect? You of know, but you don't have an abnormal a, heart rhythm. That's what happens when, that's, that's so common in the medical scenario today. Gosh. They give a drug or a procedure. Yeah. Yes, it'll stop that, that'll, that particular symptom, but oh golly, the patient died. That's right. The operation was a success, but the patient died. My God. But you know, of course you don't have abnormal heart rhythms anymore. Not You're anymore. dead. So, solve but, those. But, you know, you can write it down, though, that it did prove to itself that it didn't give you any more heart, uh, abnormal heart rhythms. No. You, that was, that's Just kind of one tweaking the clinical. Just one gave you one <laughs> abnormal heart rhythm, and that was the end <laughs> of it. Unbelievable. You were saying, dear? I was saying that cholesterol pill taken by thousands causes cancer. This is from, well, let's see what it's from. It's from the Daily Mail, August 22nd, 2008. A pill intended to lower cholesterol levels has been linked to an increased risk of cancer. More the same. You take a drug, you get an undesirable side effect, which means what? A really serious condition. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration is reviewing data from a trial which found a larger percentage of patients treated with the drug Inegy, I-N-E-G-Y, Inegy, Inegy, died of cancer. The FDA is expected to issue its conclusions within six months. Okay. Mm. Meanwhile, continue. How many more? Yeah. Yeah. Continue doing as you're doing. Just keep giving energy, and we'll let you know in six months whether we're going to give you a black box warning or not. Energy combines the widely used statin drug simvastatin with a new medication called, oh boy, azetamine, uh, azetimibe. These, where would they get these names? <laughs> where did they get these names? Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at a serious subject. This is incredible. <laughs> at any rate, uh, azetimibe. Zetamibe, okay, whatever you want to do, works in a different way from statins. Statins block cholesterol made in the liver, while ezetimibe blocks the absorption of cholesterol in the gut. Okay, now here's... <laughs> Sorry, go <laughs> ahead, dear. <laughs> <laughs> this is alphabet soup trying to make names out of these words. I know, these, well, okay. These, okay, and Dr. Mercola comments the following. Back in 2000, Dr. McCullough, MD, the U.S. government's National Cholesterol Education Program, that's a good name, advised those at risk for heart disease to attempt to reduce their LDL cholesterol to very low levels. It's been a health disaster ever since, says the doctor. Before 2004, a 130 milligram LDL cholesterol level was considered healthy. The updated guidelines, however, recommended levels of less than 100 or even less than 70 for some patients. These updated guidelines instantly increased the market for cholesterol-lowering drugs. Not surprisingly, eight of the nine doctors who were on the approval panel to lower those to absor absurdly low guidelines have been making money from the companies of the dr cholesterol-lowering drugs. Oh, surprise, surprise. I, graft, I'm dumbfounded. Graft, corruption. Oh, you oh don't goodness. mean no, it. No, no, no. Not within the ethical drug industry. What would June Cleaver have to say? 
June Cleaver. June Cleaver. <laughs> She's I'll long leave gone. it to Beaver. But I mean, don't we live in just this perfect little society you here? Mean the Beaver Cleaver? You know, don't we just do that? How can this possibly be? Okay. But they were suddenly pushing into a lar- much larger and unhealthy segment, uh, larger and oftentimes healthier segment of the population were being forced to take these drugs. Now, in order to get these outrageous, dangerously low levels, usually requires multiple drug lowering, multiple cholesterol drug lowering. I'll read it again, folks. Now, in order to get these outrageous and dangerous low levels, usually requires multiple cholesterol lowering drugs, such as Energy, which combines two cholesterol lowering drugs into one. It's very rare that anyone needs a cholesterol lowering drug, says the doctor. Let me repeat that again. Folks, it's generally very rare for anyone to need a cholesterol-lowering drug, let alone multiple cholesterol drugs. Among more than 20,000 patients who have come to my clinic, only four or five of them truly needed these drugs, as they had genetic challenges that required it. But if you or someone you know is taking them, odds are very high, greater than 100 to 1, the odds are greater than 100 to 1 that you and they don't need them at all and they even create more health challenges than what you started out with. Let me turn the page and we'll go on here. Uh, Energy combines two different medications, simvastatin and azetamibe, into one pill. Although the Daily Mail article above claims statin should lead to a drop in heart attacks and other cardiovascular problems, that is not necessarily the case and has never been actually proven. Statin drugs can actually increase your risk for heart disease because they deplete your body of coenzyme Q10, which can lead to heart failure without it, and they have also been linked to other conditions. Who has told you about CoQ10 and heart failure Endlessly before? Endlessly here from the Alive and Well Natural and Therapies And from a host hour. of other physicians who've exactly. proven this Dr. over the Steven years. Dr. Steven Sinatra, medical doctor, Jonathan Wright, Julian Whitaker, you name it. Back to the 50s, this has been known. Exactly. And uh, the cholesterol drugs have also been linked to weakness, muscle aches, an increase in cancer risk, immune system suppression, serious degenerative muscle tissue condition called rhabdomyolysis. That's just what I was going to say. And potential increase in liver enzymes, so patients must be monitored for normal liver function. My God. Kidney failure and uh, an Alzheimer's-like dementia. There was actually, we read it on the air, and that was by that uh, head uh, Navy doctor, mm-hmm. you know, who had been in the yes. space doctor, and he'd been fighting it and writing books about it, because, and he's still suffering from the side effects, and he had complete total... It's total, it's transient global amnesia. That's the words, and that is a direct statin term. Transient global amnesia connected to these.